Hey, uh, I just thought I'd share a quick thought with you. Um, I had a chat with a client the other day, and she said that she uh, had trouble keeping up with her passwords and all of that sort of thing. So uh, I recommended that she use a password manager. Now, I always recommend people use LastPass. It's a good uh, sort of independent one. It's not Google. It's not Apple. Uh, you can sort of take it anywhere, uh, and it's pretty cheap. So I, I suggested that she use that because she had her passwords in a spreadsheet, and she had like a team of five, and they're all sharing the same passwords. And we we sort of came to the discussion. Uh, she was looking at, all right, well, what if I want to share passwords around? I said, yep, you can do it on the paid plan. Definitely get it. It's always worth it. She looked at the price. She went, "Oh, it's five bucks a month um, for the for the team one, uh, like per user." I said, "If you, you would almost be silly not to, because uh, not only like it pre-fills your passwords, so not only you're going to save five minutes logging in uh, or one minute at a time. I think it, cumulatively it's about twenty-two minutes a day is the average that the um, last pass put out, the average statistic." And by by saving uh, you know twenty minutes a day across a team of five, you know you're going to save a hundred dollars per week per employee just logging in. Let alone the fact that they've got to then when they forget a password, go back re uh, restart the uh, the the battle of uh, I forgot my password. Wait for it coming in the email. Oh, it didn't come. Go back. Try again. Contact support. Uh, you know twenty minutes later then they've got an issue um, resolved straight away because they're not, not uh, having to forget those, uh, not forgetting those passwords. They can store notes, they can store other information. And all of these things coming together is well and truly worth that $5 per month. Um, my point in all of this is that sometimes, you know, you need to spend the money to get the return on investment. So make sure you think of the big picture and what you're really going to get in return uh, instead of just looking at the dollar value um, anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you very much. Take care.